I wouldn't call it anxiety. I, what I would call it is a big message throughout the week is we want to continue to push for more. And what that means generally is we're not, we're not very happy with some of the draws that we've had. We felt like even in St. Louis last week, we, we wanted to come away with three points. And so rather than anxiety, what I would describe it as is just, I, I wanted to see us get what we deserve. We deserve three points on the night, but we needed to go earn it. And we continued to push and the guys that came on pushed in a big way, not just because Pedro scores, but Pedro, Christian Fletcher, Jackson Hopkins, um, these Gabby Pirani, these guys come on and push. And uh, I'm very, very satisfied to see them realize what we, we probably should have done in a few of the, the draws this season. What, um, what went into the uh, decision to you take out of the starting lineup? Yeah. Yeah, it, that wasn't an easy decision for, for both Pedro and Gabby because I've, I've been happy with a lot of what they've done so far. But I thought it was a good matchup. Connor Antley showed well against St. Louis. Um, Ruan, obviously, we, everyone here is familiar with Ruan. He's uh, one of the most dynamic wingbacks in the league, and Connor is, is someone that uh, can handle that in a big way in open space. Um, so I, that was kind of the plan tonight was – for a large part of the match for him to be able to handle that. And then if the game started to open up a little bit more, it made more sense for Pedro. Sir. Thank you. Yeah, the only pieces I'm looking at right now are the pieces we have. So, so I'm not, I don't have a wish list right now or anything like that. I think we're, we have uh, realistic, realistic expectations about um, what we can add this year at, at the right time. But, but I, I've said this before, I don't foresee that being six, seven, eight players. And so the group that we have, I, I'm, I'm very happy with how we're coming together. Not just because we get three points tonight, but I think every single match you've seen us go out and represent ourselves and the identity that we say that we're, we're going to. And that's, that's the ultimate judge if, if uh, we're, we're doing the things that we say that we want to and, and trying to influence the match in the right way. Um, and, and I'd say maybe a half year or there where, where it gets away from us. Um, Enter Miami, I can think of, you know, in the second half and maybe Cincinnati a little bit in the second half. But every other part of, of every other game, for the most part, I, I'm very happy with how we're performing. And it's a great group of guys. I mean, they just seeing them come together with with the type of culture and environment we want. Um, when you get results like this, it only helps you you build that even more. Uh, sorry, I wanted to ask a little about. It seems like Montreal pulled John off out of the ten and out for the last maybe with him, Aaron Burr, or that. Um, what did you see? What did you expect that first of all? And then what did you do to sort of work around that and, and sort of unique that? Yeah, we, I think, again, on Aaron's side, we thought that the matchup would be him versus Lassiter, and it was early in the match at, at certain times. But really, us with the ball, we, I think we had quite the advantage, not just in possession, but in some of the overloads we wanted to create. They're hard to break down. They have a lot of numbers centrally, and uh, Aaron is someone that's, that's super dynamic. Uh, but, but tonight he had to play in a little bit of a lower position, and that's why you see Jared get so many crosses and you know, just moments in and around the box. So that, that was a little bit of our strategy coming into it because of what their setup was. Uh, but I, again, Aaron, what a, what a performance tonight. I thought he did his job in a big way. In the second half, you break Hopkins in. We saw him last week in a deep role today, alone in six. Yeah. Uh, really for the last half hour there. Um, what have you seen out of him that allows him to <clears> you know, <throat> mostly see him as a winger or as an eight, maybe even as a nine? Um, but playing alone in six, that seems like a heavy hand for him. Yeah, I mean, Jackson grew up as a number nine, you know, so that, I think that's something that I didn't know until I got here because I've seen him in the positions you listed. Um, just then, I think he is a really, really talented central midfielder that has more of a skill set to probably be an eight and be a little bit more advanced up the field. But what he, show, what he showed us against St. Louis was someone that was really disciplined, someone that could break things up, also calm things down when needed. And again, I think he grew into the match and grew himself and developed his, his uh, positioning beyond just being an eight as being a six that can really hold things down for us at the right time. And I, you know, I'm, I'm really proud of how he's continued to grow throughout this entire season.
Yeah, I think this is a big observation. You know, we, we, um, we've been scoring a lot of goals. I think we've been creating a lot. But this is a, another clean sheet for us. So this is two clean sheets for us in, in the first um, six matches. And, and I think even in the matches where we don't get clean sheets, I think our back four and our goalkeeper have put in a, a tremendous effort to make things difficult on the opponent. We ask a lot of them. They step really high up the field. They're, they're, uh, we're very aggressive so that, you know, we can get exposed sometimes and they have to recover. But Aaron Herrera, uh, Chris McVeigh, Lucas Bartlett, Connor Antley tonight, Pedro, th these guys deserve a lot of credit and certainly Alex Bono does as well. Yeah, again, I, th I thought it was the right move to have Christian Dahomey early in the match. He's been performing well for us. And, you know, we wanted the, the game to start to open up a little bit. And that's when I think when Gabby has time and space, this is where he's at his best. And he showed that there were some really, really bright moments from him. And uh, I'm happy. I'm happy to see him gain some confidence tonight. I would say almost the way that I answered the first question, us staying together, us continuing to push and, and not get frustrated with anything going on in the game, whether it's us not finishing chances, maybe you know certain decisions not going our way. I think we just stayed focused on what the task at hand was and, and we pushed for the three points uh, and, and got it over the line. Yeah, I thought that the, the line of confrontation that we picked up helped us because Montreal is very good at playing through the middle. I mean, they, they typically can open teams up, and they did a, a few times against us tonight. But uh, Ku and Clicky, again, hold a big responsibility, as does Matty Peltola and Jackson. And we want to close the center as much as possible. Any ball in there, for the most part, we're going to – that's where you – when I say words like aggressive, that's where you see us really start to try to win the ball. And uh, we did that tonight, and we were able to start to create chances that way. So that's something you're going to continue to see from us from different points on the field. And, and tonight we did that in a, in a really good fashion.